Hey guys, it's Kevin Kreider. More than just muscle. These are some of my favorite topics to talk about and this is my evening routines that I do every day or at least I try to do most of this every day and at night before I go to bed. Usually about 30 to 45 minutes so I can get a deep restful sleep. I feel like I can not only go to sleep faster but my mind isn't racing so much and I feel better the next day. I have more energy and not before I go to sleep, I have more energy when I wake up. Rhythms of life work is that in the morning, you get up, you get to do your thing, and then you're off to the race, right? And you need to get in a mindset with that. You can check out my morning rituals video that I do. And at night, it's the time to wind down. Too much, we don't take enough time to wind down. Our version of winding down is literally going back on Facebook and Instagram and checking out who likes what and getting a dopamine rush then, right? And that's the thing that I want to help you out with. And there's no science behind my actual evening rituals and routines except for the lighting on the phones, which they show that blue light can keep you up at night and disturb your sleep so i try to one i try my best to turn my phone off about 30 minutes to an hour before i go to bed the thing is though sometimes i will be up at night and i've been experimenting with these true dark glasses to put on at night so when i actually need to go on my phone or something it blocks out that blue light and i can go on the phone if i need to send out an email last minute or anything like that or text a friend or call whatever and i'm still experimenting with that but i do believe there is something where you just don't look at any electronics not a tv not your computer not your laptop not your phone at least 30 minutes before we go to bed most people recommend an hour but 30 minutes is my rule of thumb and that's what I do. The next one is, and that'll help you sleep better and won't keep your mind turning at night because here's the thing, most things won't get accomplished in that hour anyway. You're just wasting your time and energy focusing on that stuff. The next thing that I love to do, I will take the day and think about things that I was possibly angry about. Was I treating somebody unkindly? Do I owe somebody an apology? things like that and I will write that down so that way if I see it coming up a lot I'll know man I need to focus on that a little bit more and not be such a dick or to be improving in this area of my life and it's a nice time to self reflect at night and I know a lot of other people do it too and it helps them. The other thing that I'll do is three yoga poses at night. The reason why I do three yoga poses at night is because you've been on your feet all day. You're stiff. Why not go to bed feeling a little bit more limber and relaxed and do some relaxing poses in yoga instead of energizing poses in yoga. What I'll do is I'll do the downward dog about one minute to two minutes each. Maybe I'll do it twice, but I like to do it for a long period of time at downward dog because it gets the calves, it gets the hips, it gets the back, shoulders, everything. The next pose that I won't skip out on is a pigeon pose. I'll do that for about a minute or two on each side and then I will do the hamstring stretch. I'll either do it standing and grab both feet, uh, standing head to toe reach, or I will do a single leg, leg hamstring stretch. I'll just do that for about a minute each. And those are the three poses that I do whether I only have about five minutes to do it or I'm really tired and I just wanna to go to bed just so I'm not stiff and I wake up feeling groggy and just stiff, like I just said, like, oh. You know, there's tension and just doing this for about five minutes before I go to bed, I feel like a new person the next day and I just like to do it and that's what I do. And then my next thing is I'll sometimes listen to podcasts before I go to bed or anything like that. But anything too intellectual sometimes will keep me up because I'll just think about it all the time. But the thing is maybe it's a podcast you listened to in the past and you just want to reinforce it. The other thing that I do is I will listen to this audio book called The Power of Now by Eckhart Tolle. I love listening to his voice at night and the reason why I do it at night is because I was taught as an actor sometimes the voices get caught into your subconscious and then you wake up and the whole script is memorized. That hasn't happened for me for the power of now. It's really long. But the thing about Eckhart Tolle that I'll listen to and I'll, what I'll do is I'll set the audiobook 
for 30 minutes on the nighttime and that way it just turns off in 30 minutes. I'll set it up slightly low. And even if it's just a little bit of mumbling in the background that you can't hear, you're at least going to bed with some positive messages that I find and somebody who has a spiritual voice as well and will get you grounded a little bit more. And I always listen to something at the middle of the night. I'm like, oh man, not in the middle of the night, right before I go to bed, listening to them, I'm like, yeah, that's right, okay? And I, I carry that with me. Yeah, I might not remember the next day, but the thing is, it's it's constant, continual thing. You're not gonna wake up enlightened or anything, but the thing is, it helps me to go to sleep and I like listening to his voice and he has a powerful message behind that. So I'll listen to that up to 30 minutes. The thing is, I know it usually turns, I usually go to sleep before the 30 minutes are up. I find that I'm probably asleep in five or 10 minutes. It might take you a little bit of adjustment period to listen to something like that and go to sleep at the same time, but I find it's very useful and it doesn't take much for you to do that. And also too, the last thing I'll do before the Eckhart Tolle is I will hit my knees and say a prayer. Just thank the higher power that is, that you believe, that I believe in. Um, we probably have a different one, but the thing is I pray and just thank God for basically having another day and just say, hey, I hope you strengthen me for the next day so I can do whatever it is that I was made to do. And just ask for a little bit of help, right? And that's what I'll do before I go to bed. I hope those evening rituals helped you out. And if you have any questions, please write a comment. You can also take the body design tool. It's a free survey you can fill out. And what you do is just fill out your email address at the end and it'll recommend a muscle and strength program that I have that I've built on my online courses. And that'll help you not with just your health, your nutrition, but I also introduced some of these mindset strategies in there for you. And some people call it self-development, but I've set that up for you in the mornings for you to do just to make yourself more primed and ready to take on the day in a positive way manner and so it's more than just muscle guys it's more than just going into the gym and looking great i add some of that value in as well so the body design tool will guide you there and uh, like i said please subscribe and i'll see you guys soon